Knowing how to manage and work with artboards is essential in learning the fundamentals to Illustrator. What's up designers, welcome back to Digifrog Designs. If you're new here, I'm Matt Roberts, brand identity designer and illustrator. Working with artboards is an essential step in learning to use Illustrator more effectively. From resizing them to repositioning them, they can all speed up your workflow. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to manage and work with artboards in Illustrator. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We post new videos every Wednesday, helping you become a better designer. Let's jump into Illustrator and take a look at artboards. So now I've got Illustrator fired up and I've just created a 1080 by 1080 artboard for the sakes of this tutorial. So say I wanted to make some changes to this artboard, uh, whether it be size, position or shape, there are a couple of different ways that you can do it. The first way is using the artboard tool, which is this tool here, where you can press Shift O on the keyboard. If I click on that, you'll see the bounding box for the artboard appear and you can just simply drag on the anchor points of the bounding box to resize to suit. And you'll also notice you get this little pop-up showing the size of the artboard. So if you need a specific size, you can get that bang on using that. But if it seems a bit too much of a faff and you're trying to get something a little bit more precise, there are a couple of different ways that you can do that. One way is using the artboard properties in the toolbar. Depending on how you've got Illustrator set up, you may find them in the properties panel on the right here or in the control bar at the top if you have that turned on. If you don't have either of these options enabled, you can find them under window and you've got the control there for the top one and you've also got the properties for the one on the right. On both these, you can key in specific values for the width and the height of the artboard, which you can key in a specific size that you want. So if you're looking for the four by five ratio for Instagram, you can change that to 1350. And there we have the artboard ready for our four by five post for Instagram. And also we can change the position of our artboard here using the X and the Y values. On both these menus, you even have the option to choose from a specific template, if you will, or preset for the artboard size. So if you're working on a specific design size, if you're working on a specific size that you need, you can select that from the drop down here and say, well, we're trying to work for an iPhone X screen size. It will create a canvas at the right size for that application. If that wasn't enough, you can also double click on the artboard tool like you can most tools in Illustrator to access the artboard options. You can also access this through the properties panel on the right using this button here. And once you've got the artboard options opened up, you have the options to rename the artboards. Again, choose from the presets if you want a size. You've got the width and height dimensions that you can key in. Your position in the workspace. The orientation of the canvas, so if you're working, if you've got it set up as a portrait and you need it to be landscape, you can switch that round. You have the option to constrain the proportions of the artboard as you're resizing. You have the display marks where you can show center marks, show the crosshairs on the canvas and show a video safe area. And you have this option for fade region outside of artboard and I'll show you what that does in a moment. So I'm just going to hit on OK on there. And as you see, it's just brought up all those guides that we've just enabled through the artboard options. So the fade region is when you are resizing and you'll see the faded area around the artboard that's showing you the size of the new artboard. So the faded region just allows you to see it as you're resizing the artboard. So now we know how to work with one artboard. Say you need multiple artboards to work on a logo package or Instagram carousel or something like that. If you need them the same size, you can easily duplicate an existing artboard by selecting the artboard tool. And then if you hold alter option and drag on that artboard, you can quickly duplicate an existing artboard. So if you're working on a carousel and we want to position them right next to one another and you've got smart guides and snap set, you should be able to drag the artboard into place and let it snap when it touches or when it meets the other artboard. You can also make a new artboard by using the new artboard button in the control bar up here or also the one on the right here as well. So now we have multiple artboards. Say we want to resize them all to a different size. So you could go through them manually and resize them all individually, but you can also select each artboard if you hold shift as you're going through them and select each one. Any dimension changes you make to the width and the height up here. So let's put 1920 that's resized the artboards there but as you can see they're all overlapping that's something that we can fix relatively easily so what we can do is we can come up to rearrange all in the menu up here from here we can choose the layout we want the artboards to follow the columns that we want the artboards in and the space in between them 
So say I wanted to create a zero pixel space in between the artboards and I want them to go in a left to right fashion and in a column of four, I set all that in there. And then what I do is I hit on OK. And now we see that each of the artboards that I created before has been positioned perfectly next to one another. This is really handy if you're working on a project and it's got a little out of hand with the position of the artboards. But it's also worth mentioning, it reorders them based on the artboard number. So if you created them out of sync, they will remain out of sync. But you can resolve this by heading to the artboard menu, which to access, come up to window, select artboards. What this will do is it will bring up a list of all of the artboards in your document. And what you can do is you can rearrange the artboards to the order that you need them to be to suit how you want them to flow. Um, obviously, it's handy if you rename them so you know which artboard is which. But once you know which is which and the order that they need to go in, you can quickly and easily just drag them into the correct order. And then we can just use the rearrange artboards once again. And that will then reorder the artboards to the correct artboard number to spec what's specified in here. So there we have it. That's a quick look at how to use and manage artboards in your Illustrator workflow. Hopefully this has helped. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments box below. Thanks for watching designers. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button, give it a like, and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Share this video with your friends on social. It really helps reach more people, educating them on building better brands and showing them what apps it goes into designing them. And shop the merch to support the channel and share your part of the DFD crew. I'll catch you next week, designers.